All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol CLIR, Clear Science Technologies Corporation. And they had a bullish run in the last couple of days. They certainly did. But before we dive into this, and it turned into a bearish uh, trend, before we jump in it, I do want to state that for all of you that are viewers um, and spectating, you do have the chance to go ahead and participate and not just spectate. You can subscribe to this channel if you learn something new. You can hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends and your community as well. I would really appreciate comments down below as well. More insight on what's going on with this stock and what other news you guys probably know rather than just seeing charts so that all investors can benefit from viewing this and running across this video. But do take advantage of subscribing because I will be posting daily content. So the bears definitely went ahead and took over this one. And our chart is very, very bearish right now in the eyes of, of everyone. Why? Because of the 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average is right down here. And it's at $2.54. Where is the closing price? Well below it. The closing price is $2.11. So... As long as this stays below the 50 day moving average, it is in a bearish trend and bearish territory. So this is one to definitely keep a close eye on because it could start to rise back up. As we could see here, the bulls gain control over it. So we'll definitely have to see how it plays out. The second thing is the support level. The support level is one dollar and eighty four cents. Why is this important? Because the closer it gets to the support level, it will probably break through it and the bears will continue this bearish run. So you definitely want to keep a close eye on it or the bulls can take advantage of it and bring it back up. But the most important part for all the bulls is the bearish um, breakthrough of taking it away from the control of the bears and turn it into a bullish trend as they did here, but they got rejected. And that is two dollars and 22 cents to yeah two dollars and 22 cents to be exact or two dollars and 21 cents anywhere in between once that's broken by the bulls the bulls can use that as a support level and start to use an upward trend to break new resistance levels but until the bulls are able to pass the two dollars and 54 cent um location of the 50-day moving average the bulls won't gain full control. So the bears are going to keep maintaining the control and the bulls are going to have to continue to fight. This is going to be an interesting one to see how it plays out tomorrow. The tug of war finish with the bulls gaining control. We'll see how it continues to run and see if that rally continues or if the bears go ahead and take advantage of how exhausted the bulls could be and continue to tear this one down. Once again, if you learned something new, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share this with your friends and your community. And thank you so much.